Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Now another race in the bag, the World Athletic Indoor Tour, 60 meters in Turan, held on February 22, 2022, saw Elaine Thompson running up against Soboda. If you guys remember, Soboda was a big bad Polish runner who was setting blistering times in the 60 meters. We at Sports DTM continue to track the Golden Girls performance. The Golden Girls of Brianna Williams, Sherika Jackson, Elaine Thompson here and Shelly and Fraser Price who has yet to run a race. We are here to track their performance so far. Um, Elaine Thompson here ran a season best of 7.04 seconds only to finish second to Saul Boda who ran a meeting record of 7.03 seconds. Lane Thompson here narrowly lost out to a mere 0.01 seconds to Saboda. Um, if the race was longer, we saw that Elaine Thompson here was pretty much hitting top gear and normally at this point she would pull away from the fields, but it was only 60 meters and as such Elaine Thompson here finished a close second of 7.04 seconds to Saboda. Meeting record 7.03 seconds. It's early season, guys, and we have to understand that there is some work to be done in training. And Lane Thompson here is focusing on 100 meters. I see comments where persons are saying that Elaine Thompson here should not have run if she wasn't ready, but she her mind is on the 100 meters, and there's some tweaks she has to do with her start and her transition into a full on sprint to maintain her top end. Elaine Thompson here, if you guys remember, um, her start wasn't the greatest what our top end is unmatched and as such we can just imagine what the 100 meter will look like so we can't beat her too bad on that and as some persons also said it's a mere small loss so Elaine Thompson here has improved her season best the 7.04 seconds of yet to see Shelly and Fraser Price run in the in the 2022 season especially at 60 meters so we're still waiting on that Elaine Thompson here is not too far off from her personal best of six. 0.98 seconds that she had run um, funny enough February 18 2017 in Birmingham Birmingham Great Britain so she felt as if you know that's that place of a special um, place in her heart and she would have actually run a fast time but the weather wasn't the best for her um, as well as I just cannot imagine her training where she is in her training and so that 6.98 seconds would we'll have to wait I guess further in as the time it's warmer i can just imagine her time improving and she as she now as she gets close to that 6.98 seconds time and further you know showing her caliber in her class so Boda is not only the fast running 60 meters runner out there there is also Marybeth saint price who also ties with elaine thompson here with a time of 7.04 seconds those are some serious competitors so you have Saboda who's run a personal best of 7 seconds and then Mary St. Price who has a time of 7.04 seconds but none of these athletes currently runs a really fast 100 meter so Boda 100 meter personal best stands at 11.07 seconds and Mary Bet her personal best at 100 meters is 11.08 seconds compare that to an inform training behind and everything Elaine Thompson here with her personal best being 6.98 seconds at 60 meters and of course who can how can we forget that 10.54 seconds in the 100 meter meet a national record so once again it's early days yet and Elaine Thompson here is working some of the kinks in training Elaine Thompson here spoke about you know just flying in to the race um, and she had hoped that there were two rounds to get her warmed up but nevertheless, once she's injury free um, and she she can continue to work in seven flat and possibly dipping below seven seconds, you know, 
you know challenging our personal best of 6.98 seconds but as you say it's early season yet um and she pretty much have um the rest of the year ahead of her so let's see what happens and see how she you know welcomes some of the challenges of these um 60 meters runner um the Saboda and the mayor bet saint price you know and as well as the other golden girls shelly and fraser price who have yet to run um sherika jackson who also is improving fast improving in the 60 meters and as they put their races together what will their 100 meters look like so fans out there let us know how you feel about the race let us know how you feel about some of these 60 meter challenges what do they have when it comes down to the 100 meter we saw Iwa saboda as well as Mirbet saint price making some serious statement running some serious fast time seven low 7.04 seconds as well as seven flat let us know how you feel do they stand a chance when it when the race extends to 100 meters i don't think so but maybe they do hear your comments let's let us know how you feel about these runners and what is in store for elaine tamsahira and as well as what can you expect when Shelly and Fraser Price hits the track? You know, when the Golden Girls are aligned against some of these competitors, it should be firework. Let us know in the comment section below. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Mega. Be blessed.